Good evening. A shocking attack raises questions tonight about detection and treatment of the mentally ill. A dementia patient has admitted to pushing an elderly resident at Norwood Nursing Home, resulting in the death of the older man. Nine News reporter Jay Warren is in the newsroom now with more on early detection of dementia and how it could have made a difference in this tragedy. Jay? Potentially, Clyde. Shocking as it sounds, dementia can strike a person in their 40s and in rare occasions younger than that. Police say Leon Miller had no criminal history here in the tri-state, but he admitted to pushing 75-year-old George Kiss out of his wheelchair. Kiss hit his head and later died. Do we see dementia in people younger than age 50? The answer to that, unfortunately, is yes. Dr. Brendan Kelly heads up the newly created Memory Disorder Center at University Hospital. He says while there's no telling whether the kind of treatment provided at his clinic could have prevented the tragic death of George Kiss, he does say we need to take very seriously the issue of memory disorders. I'm a firm believer that the more that we know about a person's cognitive state, the better we're able to plan and anticipate potential problems. So in a larger sense, could instances like this, could some of them be preventable? The answer would be definitely yes. It was yesterday when paramedics were dispatched to help 75-year-old George Kiss with his injury. Two of the nurses were in the nurse's station, heard the thud, went out, and the suspect was standing over Mr. Kiss and saying, I told you to stay away from my door. Police say Miller had a history of getting angry and intimidating others. And while this is obviously the most tragic of cases, Kelly says it is important to help those with cognitive issues as soon as they are detected. We look for subtle signs such as changes in personality or an increased reliance on a spouse or a family member to make decisions that would have previously been, been taken independently. And those are things that, we, that may be signs that there could be a memory concern and that, that warrants uh, bringing it to medical attention. Dr. Kelly also says that an occasional lapse in memory is normal, but more regular episodes of struggling to find a purse or keys every time you go out might be a cause for concern. Clyde? All right, Jay Warren reporting from the newsroom for us this evening. The YMCA.